Sega keeps dropping Sonic Frontiers news as much as my parents dropped me as a baby, and I want to talk about it because it seems pretty cool. And my other video in progress had some technical difficulties. Okay, let's go! The game, visually, looks even better than before. The frame rate is smoother, the graphics just look downright gorgeous, and I got nothing to complain about. In fact, we've recently had our first few looks at the second island and oh my god, it is beautiful! From what I've seen, Sonic controls wonderfully. There's even sliders to adjust the physics to your liking, and momentum! We won, boys! Aside from momentum, it looks like Sonic has a wide variety of moves he can use. They brought back the bounce, drifting, and hell, they even have the goddamn drop dash and sorta of parkour from Lost World. I don't know, man. Sonic just looks so fun to control in this game. The combat just keeps looking better and better. New attacks that have been shown off look clean, and the combat seems pretty seamless from one enemy to another, too. More enemies were showing off, and mm, 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 they look great. There's a ton of variety between enemies, and I really like that there are several ways you can go about beating each one. I'm glad that Ares and Kronos Island have different enemy types too. I assume the same can be said about the remaining three islands too? And yes, there's gonna be five islands in total! That's crazy! The story honestly looks incredible. From glimpses that we've seen, it takes itself seriously and the characters stay in character. And there's actual stakes! We fucking win these! Also, while I like Roger as Sonic, he is the Sonic I grew up with after all. This new voice direction just sounds so much better. It just seems a lot more natural for him. Judging from the music clip teased earlier this week, and yesterday, apparently, this game's OST is about to be an absolute banger. I mean, listen to this two second clip. I'm here. See? Banger! Also, those who were lucky enough to play the demo said the music, especially in the cyberspace stages, was absolute fire. Speaking of which... The cyberspace stages, oh boy. They're reusing levels again, and not just the level themes, literally the level designs themselves. And guess what? I sorta don't mind. Like, don't get me wrong, I would've much preferred to get entirely new levels, but having played these before, I already know that they're fun. And there are some new ones in the bunch too. These two city levels are ones we've never seen before. And they look amazing! So, I guess what I'm trying to say is although I'm a bit disappointed at the side of reused level design, I'm certain that the stages will still be fun to play. The poppin' is still present, and although it seems to be much less than before, I assume they'll iron out most of the bugs I need to before the game releases in November, so it'll probably be fun. So yeah, Sonic Frontiers looks pretty great now. There's still some things that they need to iron out and some things I'm not too keen on, but overall I believe this game will truly be great. But I guess only time will tell. Wait a second. Is that Big the Cat? Oh my god!